Today we're working on a 2006 Chevy Colorado. We'll be placing the rear shoes and drums as well. So first thing is jack it up, put it on jack stands, take the tire off, and then we'll want to remove this drum. So depending on how long this drum has been on there, sometimes it can be a pain to get off. If it's stuck on the hub, what you want to do is beat with a hammer kind of around the drum and that'll create a vibration to pop it loose. If you are replacing the drum like we are, then it doesn't really matter where you hit. If you are keeping the drum, then you want to be as close to these studs as possible. Because if you hit up here, you risk warping or damaging the drum. So we don't want that. It, it, but we're replacing the drum, so it doesn't matter. We're, we're just going to beat everywhere. If you've broken it loose off the hub, but it still doesn't want to come off, sometimes the drum will create a lip on the inside. And when that happens, the shoe can hang up on the drum and that can make it hard to, to pull off. So if you're wiggling and struggling, that may be what's happening. I'll pull this off and show you inside. On the back, there's a little grommet that you can pull off and then you have access to the adjuster inside. Let me pull this drum off and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see on the inside of the drum where the shoe makes contact here, for braking, but it doesn't make contact on this outer edge. Over time, that can create a lip. So when you go to pull off the drum, the shoe snags right here on this lip, and that can make it difficult for taking off. So one thing you can do to take care of that is in the back, let me get a, my screwdriver to point at it, there's this little grommet that can come out, and you can pull it off from back here behind the plate. And then you take a screwdriver, push it, through that plate and that that moves this out of the way and then you could take a second screwdriver and move this wheel and what that'll do is take the shoes and suck them in and then the drum will come off that that's if you're having that issue this drum came off pretty easy and once you have the drum off the next is to remove this spring I like using a pair of these type of pliers and they just grab on here and then you just pull it uh, if you don't regular pair of pliers works but you just want to pull it on this side get it out of this hole and then release it and that'll move this out of the way once that springs out of the way this adjuster just comes right off the eyelet like that and then to get this adjuster piece there you take a pry bar or a screwdriver and you can just push that out of the way and then it'll pop off. I have to use two hands, but you can just pry on the shoe and then that'll come out. Let me take care of that and then I'll show you what to do with this spring down here. Once all that top stuff is moved out of the way, now we come to these springs and they can just be pried out of their hole. Let me get a good spot like that. And then you do just both sides like that and then your shoes fall right out. Now this is the parking brake here. Uh, we'll address that later, but once everything comes out, you can remove this. You don't have to, you can work around it. Uh, that's up to you. So now that those are off, we'll go ahead and clean up our surfaces. Everywhere you see that the shoes make contact, we wanna go ahead and uh, just scrape that off with anything. Uh, this is just a putty knife, but you just want to clean up that surface. We'll be lubricating those spots, but that's the next move. To get the parking brake disconnected, it's, it's a two-hand job, but you have this main spring goes all the way through, and then the cable is in the center of that. Right here is where it locks in that cable. If you push in with your hand, you can see that that cable will, will come out in this direction. When you have it protruding out this way enough, you could take a screwdriver and push it in, and then that'll allow this whole spring to separate from the uh, parking brake cable. The spring comes with the new uh, shoe, so you're leaving behind the cable. That's all that's staying behind. So grab it here, push it in, and then take a screwdriver and push that down, and then you could pull the whole thing off. The trickiest part of this whole job is replacing or reinstalling the parking brake. If you notice right here, there's a little spring, uh, spring-loaded part of, of this spring, and that is to hold that, um, hold this tip 
in so it doesn't come out and then slide through. So what I found it easiest to do is to twist this whole this whole spring and you can see that puts that uh, spring retainer off to the side. I, I found that to be the easiest to get it through so then you're not fighting this spring retainer and then when it's all together you can just push it back in uh, and then now it's locked like it should so you can just twist it off to the side goes on the just the opposite so the spring goes through and then just how you pushed in to get that to come up is the same way and then you'll have to take a screwdriver and do the opposite instead of push down to get it out you want to come in through this way and push up to get it to to lock to come up and over this piece and then you can move the spring down hopefully that makes sense it it's not as complicated uh, as it may sound it's just kind of tedious to get it just right uh, in there but it takes two hands so unfortunately i can't show you doing it all right so if you manage to muscle that in uh, that's it i don't know why it's there that's it right there on settled in uh, next we can do is lubricate our contact points you could use anti-seize or uh, just a silicone paste. I'm I'm using the silicone paste and I'll go ahead and get all those spots uh, dabbed with some lubricant and then after that we'll want to separate our our adjuster here and just unscrew it all the way clean off the threads uh, really good and then we'll apply a lubricant on that as well just a silicone paste on that and then this also comes apart here like that and we'll want to clean that off and lubricate that as well so this can spin so once we'll have those lubricated, then we'll start to assemble uh, the shoes back together. All right, we got our points lubricated. We got our adjuster lubricated, and I adjusted it all the way in for easy uh, insertion or reinstallation. Uh, just a tip too, if at, at any point you feel like, man, how did this go back together? What does it do? I like to work one side at a time. I'll have both tires off, both drums off, and then I can see what the other side looks like and then that'll give me an idea of what this side should look like. So putting the shoes on, the parking brake it goes like this and then I'll, I'll use two hands but what you want to do at this point it, it's easy to just maneuver this with one hand uh, while you push this while you push the shoe in. So with one hand pull out on this and then with the other push the shoe uh, in and then just make sure it lines up with this notch here and then down um, right here on this notch and then you can take your pry bar and then pry this over back in that hole you can use a pair of pliers as well if you have something like like this these are just for like spark plugs or hose pliers they work really well too getting a grip uh, over over that and pulling on it but it's not necessary to have it just makes the job easier so at this point I have it just resting in there. This spring here just has enough tension to, to rest here. I'm going to put the other side on and just rest it uh, for now. But then I'll have both shoes at least on the backing plate in the rest position. So now both shoes are on. We'll want to compress the caliper piston. And what I do, I won't be able to show you, but I'll take with both hands on the top and just push my hands towards each other. And that'll take that wheel cylinder and just push in those little pistons but we'll want to push those in uh, all the way once those are pushed in now it'll be easier to get uh, the spring in the first spring that goes in should be a lot easier than the second spring but you can just take your pry bar you have to hold this but you take your pry bar push this back in its slot and then on this side you know do the same thing bring it over you could use a pair of pliers if that works for you too, but the goal at this point is just to get these springs back in their uh, locked position. Now that we got our springs locked into place, we can go ahead and put our adjuster in. It goes in like this, the long side towards the out, the short side in. So that's in. Now we can put our little adjuster piece in like that. And then the spring goes on like this so the hook again goes into that spot and then this goes over 
oh, right here. So you can use a pair of pliers or whatever you have to pull this into that hole. And then that pretty much takes care of the assembly. And then the next will be the adjustment to get it proper for the, the drum to go on. With the new drums, what you want to do is uh, clean them off. They come with a protective coating on them uh, for storage. And you'll want to just get some brake clean, spray that off real good, wipe it down real good uh, before we put it on. So we'll go ahead and put our drum on, on both sides, and then we'll pump the brakes. Uh, maybe five, six times, just to get the fluid back into that wheel cylinder and to push them out. And that also aligns or centers the shoes uh, as well. So now we can pop this back off and then we'll make the adjustment. So when adjusting, we just want to get a screwdriver and push up on this. And a little bit of adjustment goes a long ways. And you can see here where the threads are. The more you adjust it, the more threads will be exposed. And that pushes out on the drums. We want to do that until they start to, you feel a little drag on the drums. So do it a few times and then put the drum on, spin it. And then if you don't feel any drag, keep doing it. Spin it. Until you feel a drag, then you want to back it off just a little. So you can see this is how far mine ended up needing to be adjusted out. So now when I put the drum on, I, I get just a little drag on the shoe. So when I put it on and then spin the tire, there's a little bit of drag. At that point, what I wanna do is go inside, so with the drum on, go in the car, pump the brakes a couple times again, and then see if that drag uh, goes away or is still there. Because every time you pump the brakes, it's gonna center these shoes up to conform to the inside of the drum. If that drag is still there, then just back this off a few clicks, pull on this, and then you can get your screwdriver in there to turn it in the opposite direction, uh, just to back it off uh, just a little. And then that's that's right, that's where you want it to be. Um, then that's it, and then do that to the other side as well. Well, that's pretty much it. Put the tire back on, take it for a good break-in test drive, and you're complete. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.